And these are wrappers that are sun-grown wrappers, which are lighter in color than the Maduro wrappers. And these are more earthier and spicier. And if you look at the tags, these wrappers were selected for our new Perdomo Estate Selection Vintage. Every one of these wrappers, like all our wrappers, are hand-selected by our specialists. So not only do they impart a beautiful color and even cask of colors and tonality, the importance is the flavor that these wrappers produce, which are very consistent. And the wrapper produces a tremendous amount of flavor. Upwards of 10 to 12% of the flavor characteristics come from the wrapper. And mind you, that's a tremendous amount when you consider the wrapper is only 1% of the circumference of the actual tobacco. So I wanted to show you the two different types of tobacco. The first one's the Maduro, like I showed you a little early, where you can see these colors, more of a chocolate, dark chocolate, almost to a, almost black, but not necessarily, but more of, I would call it more of a dark chocolate color. And these are naturally fermented in time. And then if you look at the sun-grown wrappers to see the difference, they have more of a reddish brown color. And when you put these together, you can see the difference in the colors, but they also have different flavors. The reason at Perdomo we use Connecticut Shade wrappers that are well aged, at least 60 months of aging, and everyone has a sun-grown wrapper and a Maduro wrapper on the different cigars that we have. The reason we use the three wrappers are, to me it's like steak. It's the same thing as a cut of ribeye, a cut of New York strip, and a cut of filet mignon. To me, these are the three best wrappers in the world. If you're a Perdomo Habano smoker, you can try the Connecticut. If you're looking for a creamy flavor, if you want something a little spicier and earthier later on in the day or even in the morning, you can go with the Perdomo, you know, Habano Sun Grown. If you want something sweet and rich, you can always go with the Perdomo Habano Maduro. So that's the reason why we come up with all these different wrapper combinations on all our cigars so you can taste different flavors and how important it is that our wrappers impart these different flavors that you can enjoy. So as these wrappers are in fermentation, we're gonna show you how we humidify them, which was quite different than most people do. Instead of using natural water, we use pressure and actual just burst of humidity. And we're gonna show you that right now. So we're gonna come over there and show you the wrapper department and how we case these wrappers or humidify them when we're putting them in these fermentation piles. All our wrappers are between three and five to six years old, depending on the cigar. And the wrappers need a lot of extra aging because of the flavors they impart. And considering they're only just one leaf of the tobacco, it's very important that not only our fillers and binders are well fermented, but our wrappers are extremely well fermented and bursting with flavor. So when you open up any box of Perdomo cigars, you get enjoyment from cigar number one all the way down to cigar number 25. And we're going to show you a little later how we do that.